it is, Port Marifa, the gateway to the world. Huh, for a gateway, I thought it would be bigger. We can get ships here, that's the main thing. Right, about that. What does everyone want to do? I dragged you into all this, and none of you owe me a thing. It's okay, Zebe. I appreciate everyone's help, but we're through the sandstorm now. None of you have to stay. But I need to figure out what this Kala thing means. Find out about my own power. I... I don't even know all the stuff I need to figure out. Ajna, you are the grossest, most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Everything around you turns into a disaster. I... I guess you're right. So, obviously, I'm coming with you. Bomb is too. He has to come because he's mostly dead. Aren't you, you little idiot? Oh, thanks, Razmi. Right? Am I thanking you after that? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. You saved me in the desert. You said you'd help me find out what happened to my brother. I'm coming. <laughs> but you leave me alone, Razmi. No lips. Ginseng? Well, this is a lot more dangerous than I expected, but you can't become a world-famous botanist without some risk. So, I'm coming. As am I. You still haven't fully recovered, and you need a guide as your power grows. And someone to buy you cute dresses and do your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, absolutely nothing. Just for fun. Didn't your mother ever fix your hair? I didn't really know my mother. <gasps> no. Well, an Almushan braid would look lovely for starters. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. I really appreciate your help. Oh, but Zebe? Right. I want no further part in destroying the world, thanks. I've done enough to help the charade. I'm with you only until we find a boat. Well, where a protector goes, so too must I. I understand. I'll make sure everyone who wants to stay finds a boat. How's that? Fine by me. Wait, may I speak? Better make it good. This is the big who stays and who goes conversation. And I'd prefer that you go. I know. I know most of you don't like me. And you have good reason. I did... kill Ajna's father. I thought I was doing it for the good of the world, but Ravanovar had blinded me. He raised me since I was a boy, and he spoke so lovingly of the new world he would create. I had no idea he meant to destroy it first, and I had no idea the deeds... acts we committed were done in the name of destruction. How did you not know killing innocent people was wrong? I was told they were blasphemers against the gods. But in truth, I have no excuse but youth. And yet you are younger than I and committed no such atrocities. Ravanovar told me the heretics we dispatched would be reincarnated in paradise and live a better life, but I had never stayed behind after a battle. I'd never had to see the consequences until now. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna, let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. Let me be your sword. I have no purpose. I have nowhere to belong. Please, I don't want to become some mercenary for hire. I know I'm asking even more of you, but I want to try to do something good. Let me help you save this world from destruction. Well... Don't do it. He's the worst. Yeah, he is. But maybe he deserves a chance. For what it's worth, he is being sincere. I'm... I'm gonna consider it. But listen, Dar. From now on, you're listening to me. And if we find someone who needs help, we're helping them. No discussion. I am yours to command. I will not complain. And... Thank you. This conversation got weird. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get going. And thanks again, everybody.
Watch yourselves, outsiders. Huh? We're not doing anything. Yet. Rosmi, shush. Make sure you tread lightly. This area is under the Iron Kingdom's control, and we won't hesitate to jail any dissidents. Like you took my breath. Mm. Shh, Kadira. Who? Us? This see what? <laughs> nah, we're just casual. I've got my eye on you. That was close. Keep it cool, will you? I'm sorry. I just hate them so much.
go... somewhere. Wish I could help you. There's no boats. What? Why? Iron Kingdom won't allow it. They got everything on lockdown. What jerks. That ain't the half of it. They've been taking over cities left and right, but Marifa is a port town. Free and independent, you understand. It's always been that way. Now, the Iron Kingdom has set up a blockade around the whole place. No boats going out, no trade, no supplies coming in. What are you gonna do? Wait it out, I guess. The Iron Kingdom sent over some elite forces. There's not much we can do against them. But we don't have time to wait. Huh. I guess you'd be from out of town. And if that's the case, you managed to get here through the Almuta Desert, so you must be made of pretty strong stuff. Yeah, my stuff is tough. Then maybe what you want to do is head to the Tower of Wisdom. It's the tallest building in the port. You can't miss it. There's an old battle axe of an oracle living there. She might know some way out of this predicament. Tower of Wisdom, huh? That helps a lot. You know, you're smarter than you look, old man. Of course. Now, I wasn't always a dockhand, you know. I used to be a beekeeper. Oh, that explains it. Right? Yeah! So, does anyone know anything about Wisdom's Tower? It's the Tower of Wisdom. Haven't you heard of it? Mm, no? Well, it's very famous within the scientific community. The Tower of Wisdom is a research facility run by one of the greatest minds of our time. Very reclusive, so they say. I never thought I'd actually get to come here. Ravanovar intended to destroy it once its usefulness was at an end. He said that time was almost at hand, so I suspect this may all be related to Kala. We'd best be careful. Blow it up first. Ask questions later. I'm just gonna try knocking. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Wisdom? Huh, I guess Wisdom's not here. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this noise? People are trying to work in here. Oh, 
wisdom! We were hoping to get an audience with you, your... your... wiseness? My name is no wisdom. What are you? A buffoon? She is. I'm not! I'm Ajna, daughter of Inder, chief of Ashwat village. I'm looking for the oracle that lives here so we can find a way out of the port. You see, this is the trouble we're living in the Tower of Wisdom. People come to you for all kind of petty things. Like I told the last 107 people who knocked on my door. I've got important work to do and won't be bothered. But... But nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> no! Listen! We beat up Ravanavar, and then I turned blue, and then there was a big explosion, and there's someone called Kala who... <laughs> Kala, you say? And um, wait, did you say Indra? You know about Kala? And my dad? I do. You have piqued my interest, child. You may enter. <laughs> So, what do you know of Kala? Kushi says she's a destroyer and builder of worlds. That's close. She's the goddess responsible for these world cycles of birth and rebirth. When she becomes dissatisfied with the world, she simply makes it anew. Which means... We all die. Yes. And how do you know all this? I have been researching Kala for most of my life. My name is Angu. I was part of the original group of four that sealed Kala 16 years ago. I was joined by Yuri Namas, Badra, and Inder. So yes, I know your father. You know my mother too? Such as it is, yes. I suppose you would be the child Inder picked up coming down the mountain. Picked up? But what do you mean? Oh, my. Weren't you told? Ah, oh, Inder, you're dolt. Well, cat's out of the bag now. Please, go on. My dad didn't talk about the past much. Stubborn as always, that Inder. <laughs> well, we find you on Sumeru. Which means Inder is not your father by birth. Like, I was adopted? But... Oh, you're getting emotional. Which is not something I am into. I shouldn't even be the one having this conversation with you. What is in there, anyway? Dad, he was killed. Yeah, by this guy. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. Can you tell me a bit more about my parents, please? <sighs> I suppose Inder was a strong man, born in the last cycle. Badra was even stronger. Oh, Mom was strong. Quite. And her strength was needed. We knew Kala was dissatisfied with our world and wished to remake it. Rumors coming down from Zumeru told us as much. And in my research, I found a way to defeat her. The four of us set out to challenge Kala. Inder sealed her with the Bamastra, a weapon he brought from his cycle. Padra protect Inder while he fired the shot. But the Brahmastra broke and was destroyed by Kala. I see. But that's enough reminiscing. Back to what is important. This explosion, you call it. The shockwave was felt around the unknown world. That was Kala waking up. And if someone doesn't put her back to sleep again, that means the end of us all. That's why I've holed myself up in here, researching. That was just her waking up? Yes. The power of a goddess is greater than you can imagine. I'm not sure how we can seal her again without the Brahmastra. Everyone will die? But this is my fault. How could I have broken that seal? You mean to tell me you broke the seal yourself? Well, I'm not sure. It's hard to remember. But more of it is coming back. I'm waiting. Ravanavar was telling me that I was the key to Kala. That I was... A piece of her. I got so angry I couldn't see straight. I felt a surge of power and I still don't remember the rest. My friends say we got blasted off the mountain. Well, this changes everything. 
I wouldn't be surprised if you were a piece of Kala. Let's just find out. On your guard, witch! We're gonna see Ashna's guts. Now, now, calm yourself. You are an excitable bunch. Ashna, call the power you use upon Sumeru. If you can, you'll break free. Definitely the power of Kala. Indra is dead, and you must take his place. You were once part of Kala, so you are the one to do it. I'm part of Kala? But I'm me. Sorry to be the one to tell you, but you were once one being. There is nobody else who can stop her. But I'm 16. Yeah, I'm sorry about that too. I can make you any older. How could anyone hope to even approach a being of such power? Her mere awakening blew us off of Sumeru. If Ajna is a piece of Kala, she's not a very big one. Yes, well, it's hopeless now, as you are. But... If you let me finish, it's hopeless now. But you grow. You have to. In fact, you've already begun the process. But how? These people you've gathered around you, something drew you all together. What could that have been? Uh, friendship? It is. It is the latent power of life within all things. You, Ashna, possess an incredible amount of it, being a part of Kala. The rest of you are quite powerful yourselves. Each one of you is remarkable in your own right. So that's why Ravanavar was searching for us. I see. Your powers augment Ashna's. Hers augments yours. I can't tell you all what to do. But if you don't want this miserable planet to burn to ash, you're going to have to get stronger together. Burn to ash, you say? Don't you even think about it, Rosmi. I just have a natural curiosity, that's all. The more companions you gain, Ashna, the more powerful you become. But we couldn't reach Sumeru now, even if we wanted to. We need a boat before we can even begin the process. All right. That's what we came here for. True. Sumeru is normally inaccessible from the mainland. But there is another way. Observe the floor beneath you. Your path to Sumeru lies here. In the Chakra Gate. I've seen something just like this in Lan. From Lan, are you? Then you would have seen it, yes. It's one of the sacred relics the Protectors guard. You'll find similar gates in Kano, Kai Krum, and what is now the Iron Kingdom. These gates were built at the meeting points of the world's ley lines. Ley lines carry prana, the world's energy connecting all points to each other and the world to itself. Do you understand? K kind of? These gates, even if dormant, concentrate and emanate power. Undoubtedly, the civilizations that sprung up around them will be using them in some way, which will be your clue to find them. Ashna, if you attune to the gates, you should be able to align yourself with the world's prana and access the lane lines. So I just have to find these gates? And attune to them, yes. If you manage to synchronize your iri with all three gates, you can return here. Once you do, these gates should take you directly to land. And from there, Sumeru. All of the gates must be activated before this one will fully open. But try attuning your iri to it first. Excellent! There are the three realms you must visit. The Iron Kingdom, 
a dark nation of industry and conquest, whose government will stop at nothing to expand. The city of Tycrum, lately falling to vice, I have heard. And Canu, the lady of the Serpent Queen. It wasn't a herby nation when I grew up there. But, well, things change. Attune to the chakra gates in all this, and you will be able to reach your goal. And hopefully, you'll get stronger along the way. So, how do we get there? We can't leave the port. You may not know this being from Ashwat, but there are six major regions on our island continent. Sumero is at the center, connecting the other five. Inside the continent is the ocean of milk. When you can go through, you go around. Um... Right, I'll spread it out for you. The Iron Kingdom may have set up a blockade, but there are always some uppery characters who don't care to be stepped on. Maybe you'll find such a person somewhere in Merifa. Good day and away with you. Thanks, Angwu. We'll do it. I said we were gonna do it, but where do we even start? Local pubs tend to be breeding grounds for ne'er do wells. Let's give that a try. Thanks, Zebe. <laughs> Just want to leave as quickly as possible. That's all. I don't think that's how it works. Well, why not? This is so annoying. These Iron Kingdom people need a good pounding. <laughs> Astutely observed, young one. Huh? Astutely observed, I say. They could do with a solid pounding. And maybe we could string their guts up from the rafters while we're at it. Now we're getting somewhere. I'd happily take you out there and burn the whole damned place down. But my ship is grounded. Small matter of a sea creature, you see. <laughs> sea creature. I'll have you know, young man. That thing ate my entire crew. I won't have you making jokes. Dar! What did I tell you about being nice to people? Fine. Sorry. I don't like him. Nobody does. So, uh, who exactly are you? What? You haven't heard of the Pirate Queen, Bautzai? Well, not really. Where on this beautiful planet could you possibly reside where you have not heard the name Bautzai? Um, I'm from Ashwat. This is my first time away from home. <laughs> well, that explains it. You're a real hayseed, you are. She is. Hey, we found you in the jungle. Eh. Well, Hayseed, my crew is deader than doornails. And you've got, well, one, two, several people here, some of whom look like they might not be entirely useless. I have sailed before. I relish the opportunity to learn. I can do stuff. Right. We'll make sea dogs of you all yet. Um, I'd rather not. But, Tarani, you're practically made of water. This and that are totally different. I get seasick. Gah! What? Is it the Iron Kingdom? The pretty lady. Who? Tarani? Who? Me? Uh, uh, salutations. My name is Beltzai, madame. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> no need to be so formal. As you wish, but allow me to say it would be my honor if you would accompany me to my ship. What's going on? It's just 
Torani. I don't get it. You'll understand when you're older. Ah! <clears throat> anyway, I do believe you said your ship was grounded. Uh, right, about that. With this mighty crew, we can smash our way through the Iron Kingdom's forces at the docks and push the old bucket back out to sea. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, this plan is terrible. What was that? Obedient, purposeless soldier? Nothing, nothing. Carry on. Then it's settled. Oh, and you should know my crew always carries one of these. A spear? Spear, harpoon, call it what you will. It's good for throwing is what it is. It'll put a real chink in the Iron Kingdom's armor. Got it. Let's try not to call too much attention to ourselves. Welcome to my crew. Consorting with criminals, are we? Yes. What? No, we're just, uh... Listen up, dogs of the Iron Kingdom. I'm coming for my ship, and no one in your entire army can stop me. And just like that, our cover is blown. Prepare to meet your end! A new sparring partner, eh? <laughs>
trigger.
grab your bandage. Princess Mary's orders. Me and my crew here have a little something to say about that. It's out we're getting past you or through you. Soldiers, assemble. Let's do this. <laughs> no quarter.
not. Getting my ship. Yeah! Right then. Let's get going, ladies. Not all of us are ladies. It's just a ship term. You'll get used to it. Don't be so sensitive. And which of you ladies is going to do something about this barricade? Ah, uh, about that. Ajna, remember that weapon I gave you? 
With that, you should be able to clear this little barricade in no time. Let me teach you a little trick I picked up. Here it is, the Teotl, a butte, wouldn't you say? The scourge of the various seas! It's nice! Tarani, what do you think? I don't know about boats. It will be the gentlest ride of your life, my lady. I pledge this on my honor. Well, if you say so. So, where are we headed, Hayseed? You seemed pretty keen to get out of Marifa. Well, we more or less awakened the greatest evil the world has ever known, and she's gonna destroy everything if you don't activate the Chakra Gates in the Iron Kingdom, Kanu, and Taikram. Sometimes I turn blue and maybe I'm part of Kala, and it turns out I'm adopted and I never even met my mom, but I guess she wasn't my real mom anyway, and I'm carrying all these people in my head, so we just gotta get out of here! And here I thought you just wanted a ride. I'm sorry, I know it's a lot. <laughs> Don't worry, Hayseed. Taking on the world, are we? That's what the Pirate Queen Baltai is all about. I can take you anywhere. My ship is yours. So, where do you want to go? Oh, before that. Zebe? Kushi? Where do you want to go? Hmm. Right. As you say, you're trying to fight the greatest threat to this world. How can I trust you when your power apparently comes from the same source? When you are literally a piece of the thing that can destroy the world? At the same time, you've gathered us all together. You make friends so easily. You found us a ship where there was no ship to be found. It's hard to believe someone like that could truly be bad. I do want to believe in you. There isn't really much of a choice. So, I suppose if you're fighting something that big, you're going to be needing my power. Really? Just like that? Just like that. Yay! I'm so relieved. I really wanted to go too. Now that that's out of the way, let's review our options. Bautzai, I assume you've been to all these places, seeing as you're a pirate and all? Please, I'm an entrepreneur, but yes. I have either been there or been close. We've got three options. Iron Kingdom, Industrial Region, getting too big for its bridges. You ought to be familiar with them. We just dumped a bunch of their grunts into the sea. Tai Krung. Well, I used to run supplies through there, but the place got a bit dark for my taste. Real spacey bunch, if you ask me. And Kanu. Ain't never made landfall there, never did intend to go there. But I can get you there just the same.